So I wanted to do a quick video for you all about um, the home environment and why I like to incorporate nature into my home environment as much as possible. So we found that um, living inside our um, concrete jungles where we don't have um, touch on a regular basis with nature is actually impeding our health. So the things that I like to include um, in my daily life are things like grounding, um, getting vitamin D, actually being out in the sunshine, um, allowing my feet to touch the earth. Um, but also I like to incorporate that inside the home. Um, I have lots of plants around the house. Um, you can see one behind me. Um, so they um, actually able to convert um, and improve air quality by converting um, some of the VOCs that uh, off gas from our furniture. Um, NASA did a big study in terms of what plants are the best for improving indoor air quality. You can uh, just Google that and get lots of results. Um, so I also like to have um, lights that are um, somewhat natural, particularly um, of an evening. So um, when we use LEDs, they save power by actually limiting the different types, um, the full array of the light um, that we would be receiving from the sun. So essentially LEDs are basically emitting um, like the blue light, which um, is really important for our daytime circadian rhythm. Then at night time when we want to start producing melatonin and winding our bodies down for sleep, exposure to blue light is actually very disruptive. So um, we use some of the filament um, and if you've got the really old light bulbs that aren't considered energy efficient, um, that are actually emitting like that full range of light, um, that is important for um, preparing our bodies for sleep. So I use the Himalayan salt lamps as well. We have those around the house which emit almost a red light, which almost mimics like um, if you think about the caveman days, the fire that we'd be um, looking at at night. So you can also use candles. Um, um, so we have lamps around the house that have like the filament lights that aren't LEDs that I turn on at night, um, particularly in winter here when it gets dark so much earlier. Um, I also have crystals all around my house because um, I feel like they're emitting a positive natural energy um, and they do make me feel um, more harmonious, more calm. My daughter loves to play with them. Um, so they're some of the ways that we incorporate nature inside. Um, another thing that I'll mention that's really important that goes hand in hand sort of with the plants but is air quality. So we actually have an air filter as well um, running. Um, and we anticipate that when we move, we'll have more than one um, in our, say, in our lounge rooms, in our bedrooms to run at night um, because you know, air quality is actually really important. And the majority of the furniture that we purchase um, is off gassing um, all of the time, which is um, the volatile organic compounds that we can't necessarily smell um, or see, but we're still um, breathing them into our systems. So um, new computer equipment is off gassing as well. We've got new computers around the house. So unfortunately, some of these things are unavoidable in our um, modern life. Um, the paint uh, on our furniture, paint on our walls, um, all of those chemicals are off gassing um, at any given moment. They do slow down over time. However, um, we're still, particularly if you're keeping your windows closed as well, they're sort of building up um, within our home system. Um, even things like the, if you don't have a whole house water filter um, running your dishwasher and then when you open the dishwasher when it's finished the cycle and all of that steam comes out, that's really high in chlorine. And again, so that's um, in, in our home air environment. So um, those are things just to be wary of, which is why we purchased a home air fil filtration system, just a little portable one. Um, it's also really important, therefore, to also keep your windows open, which my husband hates um, in Melbourne winter, but I insist on sleeping with one of our windows slightly open to let that fresh air in. So every opportunity that you get, if it's a warmer day, definitely by all means open up your house. 
Um, also consider the cleaning products that you use within your house. If they're naturally based, that's wonderful. So um, I tend to make some of my own cleaning products or the ones that we do buy are natural so that they don't have those strong chemical aromas. Um, so that's another thing to consider in terms of that home air quality. And uh, another rule that we have around our house is shoes off when we're inside policy. So we take our shoes off when we're at the door because we've been to the service station and the petrol station. We've walked through chemicals there. We may have walked through parks where they've sprayed pesticides. Um, those toxins that are just picked up from the external environment, we prefer not to bring them into our homes, particularly when our daughter was young um, and a crawling baby. And um, we've got a dog as well. so. You know, she's laying on the ground a lot of the time. Piper plays on the ground as well still. So um, just limiting the exposure by taking your shoes off as you walk through the house is um, wonderful as well. So those are my best tips for having a healthy home environment.